return some JSON. Okay, so we'll call this, okay. You have to put this decorator up here. So we'll put this show JSON. This is gonna be the, the endpoint. So pub fn uh, mute app. And we'll call it show. You can call it really call it anything else, but we'll call it show JSON to be consistent. And then we've got to put vweb dot result because that's what it's gonna return. And then we're gonna return app. Okay, and then here is here's the method JSON. Okay, you're gonna to want to do single quotes, okay? And we're gonna put this in here. We're just gonna put some dummy JSON in here. Okay, so you wanna put these spaces in here. Okay, so you wanna put the quotes around, so we'll put this user. We'll call this Bob. And we'll call um, we'll say password. And then we'll go if it's a number you can just make it like that all right but for argument we're gonna we're gonna do we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna change it around a little bit okay so then let me stop this okay and we'll call this Jan We'll change this round one through four four one two four four and then we'll make another one we'll call this Kim we'll, call, uh, we'll say four three 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 all right so we got that going you can pile uh, V what is it oh, let me just go up the web okay, compile is good Alright, so we'll go over to here. Alright, we'll put show JSON. Bam, you can see return some JSON. You can also do this with Postman as well, but you know, this is just the easiest way to do this. Okay, next we'll do a git request. Okay, in order to do a regular git request, we'll call this uh, user. We're just putting some mock data in here. We'll put user slash user, and then we'll put slash username. Okay. So then we'll put pub sin app. Put my parentheses app app. Okay, and we'll call this um, call this get user okay and then we'll put username in there okay and then we'll return uh, vweb dot result be nice if they put arrows return make it a lot cleaner okay app it's gonna be, we're just gonna put text out there And we're gonna what the hell is that? Okay, we're gonna put your user name. Oh yeah, let's put this together. Name is dash username. So to interpolate. Okay, let's see what we got here. Text functions bodies. Okay, I forgot to put the function signature. So this is gonna be a string. Okay, and this should compile. Oh, it's gotta be mutable. M U T. Okay, there we go. So let's see what we got. We went one. Alright, so just from the last one, we call this user slash, let's say, 
coder life. Okay. Your username is coder life. Okay. So we were able to take some input from there. And I think you'll be able to do it this way too. Let me let me just try this. This doesn't this doesn't work. Not my fault. Username equals coder life. Okay, so let's see if that works. Okay, now that doesn't work. Okay, now we're gonna do a post request. Okay, so we'll post and then we'll call this um, public function. We'll call this get name. Get name. And then we'll take uh, we'll put n as a string. And then we'll put vweb dot result. And then we're gonna return. Turn. Let's say app dot text. And we're gonna say your name is. We'll put app dot form, and we'll put n. Okay, put that in there like that. Okay, then we'll just go back on to this H HTML page. Um, we put this at the top. Okay, so we'll say form, form post. Okay, so let's get us down here. Input, where's text? Put text, put n, and ID is n. And then we'll put button, submit. Okay. Submit. And the action will be, what the hell is the name of that function? get name but well, let's put post name just not to confuse things post name so put post name okay all right now let's try to compile this see if demo gods are going to be good to me Name all oh, shit. Let me put that in there. Okay. Um, Should have known. M U T app app. Okay. Oh, it blew up at me. Mismatch parameters. Mismatch parameters. Okay. All right, looks like we take this string n out of here. Okay, then it should compile. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh, once again. Okay, I wrote this little wrote this little script in here called kill port, you know, because it's it's basically the program is hanging in the background, so it's taking up port. Uh, let, let's, let's, let me just show you this. That this NLTP pipe grip grip. I think I showed you this before, but let's do this again because I wrote a script. You know, because it seems like this is happening a lot. Okay, and it's going to give you the process ID right here. So, I wrote a little script right here. It seems like it's... Alright, 
looks like we take this string n out of here. Okay, then it should compile. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh, once again. Okay, I wrote this little wrote this little script in here called kill port, you know, because it's it's basically the program is hanging in the background, so it's taking up port. Uh, let, let's, let's, let me just show you this. That, that's NLTP pipe grip grip. I think I showed you this before, but let's do this again because I wrote a script. Yeah, you because know, it seems like this is happening a lot. Okay, and it's going to give you the process ID right here. So, I wrote a little script right here. It seems like it's happened a lot. So, to kill 9, kill 9, run that program, grep 9000, and it's going to split split the output to this. The, this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is going to be the seventh out, output, right? So, it's going to split it by this slash right here. And you see in here, this, the, this is the sidebar thing. And then it's going to create W, a var an array variable of uh, W. And it'll print out just this piece right here, just this right here. And it's going to put a kill 9 on that. So we'll just run that script so that we can, so you know what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's see, sudo bash kill port. Okay, so it's killed now. So let's do this again. Let me just compile this again just to make sure. All right, so there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on GitHub. I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link at the bottom. Is this running? Okay, yeah. This. All right, looks like we take this string n out of here. Okay, then it should compile. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh, once again. Okay, I wrote this little wrote this little script in here called kill port, you know, because it's it's basically the program is hanging in the background, so it's taking up port. Uh, let, let's, let's, let me just show you this. That, that's NLTP pipe grip grip. I think I showed you this before, but let's do this again because I wrote a script. You know, because it seems like this is happening a lot. Okay, and it's going to give you the process ID right here. So I wrote a little script right here. It seems like it's happened a lot. So to kill nine, kill nine, run that program, grep nine thousand, and it's going to split, split the output to this. The this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to be the seventh out output, right? So it's going to split it by this slash right here. And you see in here, this the this is the sidebar thing, and then it's going to create. W a var an array variable of uh, W, and it'll print out just this piece right here, just this right here, and it's gonna put a kill nine on that. So we'll just run that script so that we can, so you know what I'm doing here. Okay, so let's see, sudo bash kill for it. Okay. Okay, so it's killed now, so let's do this again. Let me just compile this again just to make sure. Alright, so there we go. Yeah, I'm going to put this on GitHub. I'll, I'll, I'll leave a link at the bottom. Get out of here. Alright, so let's go over to... Alright, we have our... I haven't even tried this, but we'll say... I don't know what that number was. Hope it's not nothing sensitive. Okay. 
All right, it says your name is Lamar. You know, it, it's, it's printing out the whole variable. I'm going to stop. Here's what happened here, right? All right, uh, you have to take this into a variable. Before we had this, you know, just to app that form, app that form. So we take this into a variable n, which is um, which is coming from this form right here. And the name is n, and ID is n. Which will bring us down to yeah, damn dog. Come on, stop. All right. Now it'll carry over. Okay, so just to conclude this tutorial, we're going to make a second one, and it's going to be about um, we're going to put cookies and uploading files, and uh, maybe we'll do some authentication. All right, so thank you for your time and attention. Okay, bye.